this is on 1.3, you shouldn't be getting anything. He, he, he does get a little glitch, uh, yeah, and depending how what he flies. That could be because that antenna is no loose. Oh. Which, oh, the, oh, this uh, one. Can yeah, you just get that little adapter again, or, or is the antenna that broke from the adapter? Get, the adapter. Get rubber cement, will rubber cement work? Uh, no. no. Just get a little elbow, replace the little elbow. Dude. Jeez. This is what it'll do when it hovers. Uh, it'll move around. Off, we call it toilet bowling. I've actually had that problem. That's you, either you don't have enough compass offset, mm -hmm. or you have too much compass offset, or you need to recalibrate your compass. So your that compass actually regions. should be pointing the foul right here. Though. Yeah, roughly six degrees. So right here. So about that much right there. That's, is, that's, is it too loose? Is this what's happening? It's yeah. It, it could use a little drop of glue right in here. This piece isn't part of this. Do you have to physically glue this into there? You don't have to put any other feature in here, but you do have to put in the one for the GPS. Now your GPS axis and your Y axis are both zero because the GPS is mounted in the middle of the house. But you have to give it a ground measurement from the ground up. And in this case, it looks like it's 58 centimeters, which would be. Yeah. Oh, you go from here? You go from the ground to the middle. Ah, okay. So that's 58. Mm -hmm. And that's up, so that's going to be negative. So that's our Z axis. So we just tie backwards, negative 58. Always enter. You always have to hit enter. Even if it doesn't <laughs> tell you to, mm -hmm. hit enter. Okay. So, and that'll log all your, all your base settings in. So that way when you're auto landing, it knows where the, it where the bottom, the legs are. Right. Basically yeah. where it's going to touch. That makes okay. sense. Um, that's your basic settings. That's that's it for basic settings. Your RC settings, this is always on VR16, which is telling you that you're using the internal receiver that's built into the, into the A2. That's a normal setting. Um, here you can move your switch and you can actually see it move between the attitude modes and then into GPS mode. We can test failsafe by simply turning off the radio. Failsafe, which means that if you lose radio signal, it's gonna go home. And you have to tell it that, otherwise it just hovers. Right. So it, it's, it's is it set? To, is it set to go home now? It's not set it to is, land, right? It is now. Okay. I set it so that it's going to go. It's going to go home. Go home. Now that can be changed. You can change that from 20 meters to whatever you want, which means that if you're hovering at 10 meters and you lose radio, it's going to go it's up first. It's going to go up, mm -hmm. turn around, and come back. Yep. If you're flying an area that has a lot of trees, I usually tell everybody use 40 meters. I fly, I fly almost always in the Caribbean where there's palm trees yes. and I'm flying over pools. So like I'm going yep. over palm trees in the pools and then I'm flying inside of pool areas. Mm -hmm. So I definitely won't mind to go so high. So land. use 40 meters. Can we set it down to 40 meters? meters? You just come right up here. I'll change that. To Touch that. Backspace. 40. 40. Enter. It's going to be red. If you don't touch enter, it'll stay red. When you turn it off, it'll go back, go back to the, the original default. default. Okay. All right. So now we turned on your failsafe. Okay. We also put your standby and your start. So you got standby, right? And you have go home, which would be here. Start. Okay. Middle is off. Standby is where you would generally fly it at. Um, next thing is IOC, intelligent orientation control, and it's set. Course lock, course lock. Home lock. This is a new thing that they just opened up, which is cruise control. I haven't tried that yet, but cruise control supposedly locks your speed, supposedly, and keeps you moving. It tells you here, click cruise to enable cruise, assign three position. Um, uh, and then this is just, you know, like I said, it's cruise control allows the user to lock the velocity without holding onto the remote control sticks. So gimbal control, we don't need gimbal control. Okay, You're right. Voltage. Its protection is on at this moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your first level of protection is going to come at 22 volts. Your second level is going to come at 21 volts. How do you know what is set right and what is not set right? You have to go by milliampers. I don't care what this light tells you. I want to know what your charger tells you when that light comes on. So fly the battery. When the light comes on, land. Check it with your battery checker. See what you have for percentage. Okay. Confirm yeah. that percentage by charging the battery. Yeah, I said. That. Then if yeah. it's say like it comes on and the battery is at fifty percent, 
Well, it came on way early. So then this number here, you drop to 21.8. You only go a little at a time. And what you're looking for is you're looking for this light to come on when you have roughly 35%. What I've been doing, what I've figured out with these is I use two of these, of course. Mm -hmm. And when I'm flying, I've got it figured out to where when my yellow light comes on, and I do it by time too, mm -hmm. two of these batteries give me 10 and a half minutes okay. to where I feel comfortable. Right. And then when my alarm goes, eh, 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 yep, I bring it down and out. I land it. And when I land it, I've always got 18 to 20%. Which is where you want. 